previously on Dance Moms. Line up, soldiers. I don't think some of you want to be here, and I certainly don't think any of you work hard enough. I can't believe you were tattletailing on a seven-year-old. People know how my child dances. Do you really think everyone who goes to dance competitions know your, how your child dances? And all you're chasing her! Second place, entry number 74, Free the People. Sometimes we have nothing intelligent to say, you should just be quiet. So today, you will be voting on Maddie or Chloe. Maddie wins. Coming up on Dance Balls, we're getting beat by teachers that I've never even heard of before. Here it comes. Woo! But it's not funny or cute to throw a kid on stage and them not be warmed up. I have been officially invited to be on The View. My foot doesn't hurt anymore. And it's about this whole charade. Don't let her rehearse. charade? The charade about the foot. Oh. What the wrong with the foot? I want to know where the miracle came from because she rested. I... Don't think it out on me that Abby pulled your kid from a dance. Why don't you call the doctor and ask him? On the presidential campaign, this means peace. But here at the Abby Lee Dance Company, it means second. Not only are we getting beat by Kathy's brilliant team of imports, we're getting beat by teachers that I've never even heard of before. We were the losers. ALDC lost again, two weeks in a row. How are we going to recover? How are these dancers going to get better? How do they improve in a week? Put the effort forth. You get out what you put in. All right, I want to get to the pyramid. First, I am Mackenzie. You didn't dance. Next, Paige. That flag was a symbol for everybody in that audience. Don't do a disservice to this country. Abby puts Paige at the bottom of the pyramid because she held the flag upside down the wrong way. That's why we didn't win, because Paige held the flag the wrong way. And next, Kendall. We've worked on your facial expressions. They've improved. We've worked on your stamina. That's getting there. Now, focus. Wherever your eyes go, that's where the judges' eyes go. You can't watch Maddie like a member of the audience. And next. I have Brooke. Brooke, during rehearsal, you did an outstanding job. Then we get on stage, and you go right by Asia and the flag, and then you have to wait four counts. You have to think on stage. Chloe. Chloe, you did a solo. You did a nice job. You were second only to Maddie. Corrections. Hyperextending the elbows. Not lengthening the back of the knee. You can fix all of those things, but you have to want to. And next, Mia, you did an outstanding job. I thought you looked good in the group. I noticed you in the group. I also noticed that you were smart, and you figured out you couldn't lift Asia until she got there. Finally, Abby notices Mia. And she's making it to the middle row of the pyramid. That's a good thing. And next, Asia, you won the overall high score in the petite division. I think that you're a little firecracker. And I think you step on stage and you cause an explosion. So Asia's number two. I'll take the two for this time, as long as she doesn't drop lower than that. And on top of the pyramid, Maddie, you were the overall high score of the junior division. And in first place, entry number 30, I'm trying. Yeah, <laughs> Your friends voted for you, too. It was a good performance. You are the type of personality that this country was built on. You all know that song, America the Beautiful. Maddie, you were America the Beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. People have accused me of playing favorites. Maddie gets what she deserves. She puts in the time. She puts in the energy. She wants it. Why wouldn't she be the favorite? Now, before I get started on this week's assignments, I want to ask Mackenzie where your cast is. You should have an air cast on that foot. My foot doesn't hurt anymore. And? Was your doctor's excuse. Did you go to the doctor again? No. Oh, wait, yeah. No, you did not, Kenzie. You didn't go back to the doctor. Can Tell me exactly what the doctor told you. He said that it's OK to dance. And how did he look at your foot again? He did it. 
So over the phone? But he said that she has to rest it until it feels 100% she knows her own body. She knows her own body? She can't even create a sentence to answer me with. I'm sorry. The doctor said two weeks, and I don't feel comfortable going against his wishes. It has not been two weeks. I don't want Mackenzie dancing because she's eight years old. She's little. Those tiny little bones in her feet are fragile. And Mackenzie has the potential to go the distance in her dance career. I don't want to do something now that's going to prevent her from having a career further down the line. Let's talk about this week. We are headed to energy dance competition in Youngstown, Ohio. I'm sure that Kathy's going to be there. I'm sure her boy group will be back in full force. But I'm really not too concerned with Kathy. I'm worried about the other studios in Youngstown, Ohio. The group number is entitled Hear No Evil. Everyone is in it except Mackenzie and Maddie. Maddie, you will not be dancing with the group in the group routine. You will be assisting me with the choreography. I don't think the rest of the group is as serious as Maddie. They just say, well, Maddie will figure out the counts. Maddie will know the music. So I want to teach them a lesson. They all need to be the leaders. They all need to know what's going on. Maddie, you will be doing a solo. The name of your solo is They'll Never Change. Asia, you will be performing a duet with Nia. <laughs> the name of your routine is Move You Too. And Asia, I'm expecting my little firecracker to light Nia up. We're gonna get Nia moving faster, jumping higher. Nia, when Asia's leg is up here, your leg better be up there. You can't be any less than Asia is on stage. It's gonna be hard for anyone dancing with Asia to match her energy, but Nia can hold her own and she can definitely bring it to the dance floor. I think Nia will be just fine dancing with Asia. I have one more solo. It's going to Chloe, it's contemporary. And the name of the routine is About Mother. Moms, you are dismissed. Ladies, spread apart. I'm taking you out of that group because I think they're dragging you down. And if you had a bunch of people to dance with that were on your level that wanted it, you would be first place all the time. You got to worry about you. Understood? Maddie's solo is called They'll Never Change. Who is she referring to in they? I don't know. Maybe the other girls in the group, maybe they're not going to change. Maybe they're not going to try to work harder. Or maybe it's the other moms. Maybe they'll never change, and they'll always be jealous of Maddie. I think if Abby thinks that Maddie is so much more mature, then Maddie should move up to the senior group. That's exactly right. Then what's she doing dancing with exactly. these kids week after week after week? Exactly. They're holding her move back. Move her out of our group. If Abby thinks that Maddie is too good for this group, pull her. Have her dance with your seniors. We don't need her. Left. Eight, four, five. Maddie is demonstrating this week because she's not a second place performer. She's a winner. She's a champion. She's an artist. She wants to do this 24 7. It's totally unrealistic and illogical to make it so that Maddie's the only one that has goals, aspirations, and everyone and else talent. is basically. <laughs> and, and talent and ambition. The group routine is entitled Hear No Evil. It's going to be a challenge for the girls. The music is difficult to count. So I'm going to pull their leader, the one with the great musicality, out of the group and see how they handle it. Every one of these girls need to be the Maddie. Melissa, are you comfortable with Maddie being the assistant choreographer of our group? I heard her say she's going to be assisting. Uh, yeah, don't be calling her assistant choreographer. What is the difference between choreographing and oh. assistant choreographer? What's the difference? You know, it really doesn't make a difference to me if Abby pulls Maddie out of the group dance. I mean, Abby tells us every week that Maddie is so much better than our girl, so take her out of the group then. Asia! But I have to say, I know these girls have been dancing together for a long time, but I don't know, she pick up choreography fast. Right here in rehearsal, she might be oh, like I a, know what you're gonna say. I yeah, but on stage, that. it comes together. Asia isn't keeping up well with this group. They're a well-oiled machine. Asia's new to the group. She's several years younger than most of them, and she's half their size. 
it's not a good fit. So what happens when Kinsey's put in a group? Is she behind yes. the choreography with the older girls because she's small or you're not yeah. wrong, not off, not timing, timing slower, of... but the timing. Speaking of Mackenzie, I have a question. What changed with Mackenzie that now she's 100% ready to go? Because her foot feels better. Either Mackenzie really wasn't that hurt to begin with, or she's really still hurt now. But one way or the other, you're lying. This is what my the doctor said to me, Christy. Kenzie can dance when she feels 100% confident but in Melissa, her foot. You have she been knows going her on body. And on and on for weeks that she can't dance, she can't dance, she, she can't rested. dance, she rests. But she, she rested for a whole week doing literally nothing. A week nothing. really isn't that but long to rest. Well, you know what? Mackenzie feels better and she's fine. to be going to The View, but me sitting there next to them, I'm a little bit nervous about that. And I know what a great season you and the girls have been having, so they've invited the girls to come dance as well, and they want to see one of your award-winning members. I am super stoked about my kids performing on The View. Come on, that is amazing advertisement for my studio. I'm just hosting The View. <laughs> She's wooing. Hooping and howling. <laughs> Just distracted by a phone call. I think Abby calls a 900 number, I swear to God. Come on, I need everybody in Studio A. Everybody, come on. I have a big announcement to make. I just got a phone call, and I have been officially invited to be a guest host on The View. <laughs> Hour of the view. I think Abby can hold her own, but I am a little bit worried about what's going to come out of her mouth. Of course, I am going to have the Abby Lee Dance Company competition team, one of our winning group routines, perform on the view. <laughs> Excited? Yeah. I'm excited to go to New York. This is a great opportunity for the girls to be on the view. As far as the moms go, you know, Abby doesn't want the moms to go. I love to shop in New York, so I'm excited. So next week, we will be traveling to New York City. Yeah. Unfortunately, the lady from The View said, I need to submit the routine that they're going to be performing tonight. So we need to do something that is exciting and something that lets people think. I like your you like that one? That's beautiful. I'm excited about co-hosting The View, but you know what? There is no rest for the weary. We still have a big competition this weekend. We need to perfect the group number and get the solos ready. All right, spread apart. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I want to know how long this happiness will last for Abby, because that's a that's big news. So that means she'll ride that high for, I don't know, the rest of the night would be nice. It's one thing being a guest, but she's an actual host. I know. Come on, let's go from the top. Maddie, you got it? Watch with the knuckles when you push forward, Chloe. The group can win without Maddie. It should win without Maddie. The problem is they rely on Maddie. Girls, you need to step up to the plate. You need to listen to the music. And you're not. You're letting Maddie do the work. All right, Kendall and Brock obviously were doing a different time, and they thought they were right. And the other people were way ahead. They kept going because they thought they were right. Maddie, who do you think was right? Spider is when we do the job. All right, let's go again. Maddie told me she's happy and sad about assisting. She said she loves doing it, but she's sad because she wants to be in the dance, and she doesn't want any of her friends to get angry with her. Melissa, do you think that Maddie's uncomfortable with Abby leaving her in charge of her friends? Yeah, she said that she's happy and sad at the same time. Do you think Maddie misses being in a group dance this week? Absolutely. Whatever Abby wants her to do, you know she's going to listen to that. Is Mackenzie frustrated after Pyramid yesterday? Because Abby has her doing absolutely nothing again this week, and she 
She feels like she can dance. Melissa said that Mackenzie had to be off of her foot, doctor's orders, for two weeks. And I don't think Melissa really thought that Abby was going to take her for her word, and two weeks is two weeks. I went round and round with some of the numbers, and I think that we should do the last text for the view. I think that it's an important piece, and I think we have a message to send out to all the viewers. You're gonna have to be Mackenzie. All I need you to do is a round off back handspring to that corner and fall on the ground. What number is this? It's called the final tax. The last tax. What is Asia doing? Replacing Mackenzie, it looks like, but yeah. uh -huh. she won't let Kenzie dance. Mackenzie's not dancing right now, and we need to rehearse this routine. So why wouldn't I put Asia in the number? But Asia doesn't know this routine. They don't, she doesn't dance. She does a round off back handspring and back dies. Back handspring and dies. Oh my gosh, so do you think Abby won't let her dance? Well, maybe it's just for rehearsal. We'll see. Uh, I mean, I think Asia could be a backup for Mackenzie, but she's not a team member. Mackenzie's a team member. Well, Mackenzie's injured, right? She was, you saw her crying. Okay, but she's better now. I wanna know where the miracle came from because She rested. I... Okay, please. It's it's really none of your concern. She's not a dance, so be happy. No, I'm that's not what you happy. want. No, that's not true. Absolutely, oh. it is. Melissa made such a big deal about Mackenzie can't dance. She's crying in pain. It hurts so bad. Now all of a sudden, the girls are dancing on the View, and Mackenzie had a miraculous foot recovery. It just doesn't jive. She's fine. Ask her yourself. How? Why don't you call the doctor and ask him? Don't think it out on me that Abby pulled your kid from a dance. Because my kid and the rest of our kids have been listening to Abby talk about how wonderful your children are and your daughter is all week. And we haven't told you to go F yourself. Listen, this is for the view. Millions and millions of people are watching that. There will be no mistakes. Nice to meet you. What? Oh, look, we got the keyboard all set up. We're ready to go. Brooke loves to sing, and I feel like this is a great opportunity for the girls. I mean, we're going to be on The View, and I just feel like while I'm out there in New York City, I want to take advantage of this and have Brooke go meet with a music producer and have her, you know, see about doing another song. So before we go, I want to have Brooke meet with a vocal teacher and have her have a lesson. So when we go to New York, she is completely prepared. And I just keep telling her that being in dance, she has a lot of opportunities to get out there and sing. Absolutely, 100%, of course. You already have an audience to your dance. Like, you opened that door for being a fantastic dancer, and now you can branch out and do other things as well. The hardest part is being a person who will work hard, and you're a hard worker. And so you apply that to your singing, you're gonna get stuff out of it. Hey, hey, how you doing? You have to go this weekend. If I leave you at home and you dance all weekend, what if you get hurt again and you're not good for New York City? Then Asia's gonna be doing The View. Like right now, Asia's rehearsing your spot. This is Mackenzie's number, the last text. She deserves to be in the number. There's totally a rumor understand. going around. Totally Mackenzie must know. That Wanting. Melissa saying, yeah, I mean, Asia's Wait, bullying Mackenzie. No, Asia just came up to me and she goes, oh, I'm rehearsing the group thing for the view, but Kinsey had Maddie tell me that I was out of it because she's perfectly fine. But wait, why would Maddie go and tell her that? That's not her job. Well, that's what I told I said, Asia, I said, just wait. Well, I me, said, me it's Abby's Melissa. decision, not Melissa. Yeah, this so is I, her team, it's not Asia's team. Exactly. Right, I understand, but then let's let's compete. I but if Mackenzie that. can't compete, then she can't do the view. I know you want to dance. I want to dance. I know. I want to go to the okay. dance. I don't think Mackenzie should be taken out of the dance. Mackenzie does a round off back handspring. That's all she does. So she needs to let Mackenzie dance. Tell me, what did you learn from the whole Maddie Chloe thing? Maddie, Maddie, Maddie. Take that sadness and put it into your dancing. Well, the corrections that Maddie gave me, I'm trying to like really use them. The whole voting thing, it should have been five people voting for you and five people voting for Maddie. Like, they couldn't decide. So you need to toughen up. You need to get a thick skin because this business is ruthless. 
Chloe wants to be a star, a celebrity. She wants to sign autographs. That is not making her a better dancer. All of those things need to be put on hold until her dancing is to the level that it should be. I'm actually really surprised that Abby is giving Chloe a solo again this week after the whole voting mishap in the dressing room. I think what really hurt Chloe more than anything was the fact that her peers, whom she respects, voted against her. So I'm really glad that Chloe has a chance to go out and redeem herself. Do you know what this is about? It's about all that we've been through together. It's about mother, it's like, everything we've let been through. Let me tell you about my mama. She's a bitch. <laughs> my dance teacher hates her. <laughs> That's true. And her partner in crime. <laughs> I like that Chloe's solo this week is called About Mother. You know, Abby always tries to make it be a negative thing, but I'm gonna look at this as a tribute to my relationship with Chloe, not as a, a negative thing about our relationship. Asia and Mia are doing a duet this weekend entitled Move You Too. Asia has an over-the-top personality, especially when she steps out on stage. And the only other performer that I think of is a drag queen. They're just that over-the-top persona. They're bigger than life. And that's what I want Nia to be. Oh, here is Abby's gonna do her drag queen walk. She's revving up from head to toe. Mama's in the house. Oh, Lord. Look, she's got her foot beveled. Oh, oh the head's gone. Oh, oh, God. The torpedoes are out. Abby loves herself a drag queen dance. Oh, Lord oh, help us all. watch out. Everybody get out your mental scrub brush. OK, here she goes. I hope Woo. she didn't do that for her oh, date. See. Oh, the wrists oh, are uh -oh. limp. Oh, oh, gross. Whatever that move is, here it ah. comes. Ooh. Oh, my God. I think she thinks she looks good doing that stuff. I don't think that looks good. Come on! One, two, Point those feet! One, two, three, this is going to be a tough duet for Nia this week. Not only does she have to match Asia's facial expressions and her energy, there's an extremely difficult lift in the middle of the dance. Asia, although a small girl, she's muscular, and she's no lightweight. Usually, it's Chloe and... Maddie, they compete against each other. Asia and Kenzie, Abby. they're not competing against each other. They're competing well, against each not other not for the spot on the view. Right. Yeah. So yeah, they are competing right. against each other. I'm really torn who I think should dance in the group dance on the view. I mean, it's not fair to the group to have them practice with Asia and then at the last second throw in Mackenzie. Is Mackenzie, is she feeling resentful to Asia? No. Oh, and now Asia's a bully? Is Asia being a bully? No. I. <laughs> I, I want them to resolve this on their own. OK, but I would like to know how my child's being a bully. She dropped a block on Mackenzie, dropped a block on her foot on purpose. I'm like, why would a kid drop okay, a block no, on purpose? Asia told me that because she knew that's how it would be relayed. She said Kinsey was walking by. When it dropped, when she was picking up, it didn't drop on Kinsey's foot. It hit the side of her foot. I can say a lot of things about Asia. I really don't think one of them would be that she's a bully. I just think Melissa is trying to think of any excuse to make Asia look bad. My child will not pick up a block and just throw it on well, someone's foot. I, I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> think that. Next, Melissa's being passive aggressive about the bully comment. I don't know what she's doing, but it makes no sense. I'm not going to argue with stupid. I got to ask you something. Asia came up to me and said the girls told her she's out of the show on The View instead of Abby telling her. Abby said Mackenzie on The View. OK, well, I wish there was not like this whole charade about her rehearsing it, and then now I'm not in it. Things change all the time, Christy. I think it's safe to say that Christy Ray has two sides. She has the I'm so perfect dance mom side, and then she has the I'm a stage mom bitch. It's not about Asia not being in the group. No. It's about this whole charade. Don't let her rehearse. charade? The charade about the foot. Oh. What the f is wrong with the foot? There's nothing wrong with it now. It's fine. OK, then what's, what's the fine? charade? Compete. She wants to. She get, a, you know, get an x-ray and a doctor's note with a real doctor's note with an x-ray with a written instead of bringing a note and saying two weeks rest. I mean, it gets kind of ridiculous. We're here at the Energy Dance Competition in Youngstown, Ohio, and there are a lot of amazing dancers here. 
The skill level is set really, really high. So we have to be on our game, we have to be focused, and we have to win. I cannot believe that we are in Youngstown, Ohio. And there's, there's not applesauce. Thank God Kathy's not coming. This is the best news I've heard all week. Whoa, whoa, Mackenzie, what are you doing? This is hard cement. I need you to get a shoe on. This is the end of two weeks, like the doctor originally said. The doctor with the, uh, the iPhone that can see through the phone to your foot and touch it and feel it. Abby still hasn't decided who will be dancing on The View yet, whether it's Mackenzie or Asia. But if Melissa wants Mackenzie to dance, she would be wise to tell her to sit down and stay off her foot. Shoulders even, the right arm's as high as the left. When the girls are rehearsing in the green room, I think that Maddie is watching Chloe dance. And I think that Maddie knows that Chloe is dancing extremely well today. And I think she feels a little nervous that Chloe might be real competition. Nail that. Woo. Use your plie, glide through fourth up to releve. Think about all those things you're doing wrong. Today, it's anybody's game. Chloe can step out on stage and beat Maddie any day, any time, anywhere. That's what this game's all about. That's why it's called competition. Where are Asia and Nia? Can we see the drag walk now? I'm really excited Nia and Asia had this duet this week. They look really great together. But this is the first time they had a duet, and so I know they're going to need to run it a few times before they go on stage. All right, let's go. Okay. Let's go. They're not going on. The duo's not going not on. Not yet. We got to get moving. But we'll come back to for the duet? Yes. Because they didn't have a chance to get pinned. Like, they just, they're not finished getting dressed. Maddie and Chloe's solos are coming up next, and we're all rushing to try to get out of the room. But we haven't run Nia and Asia's duet yet, and I'm getting really nervous. Before I go on stage for my solo, I'm just a little tiny bit nervous, but I just want to go out there and show to Miss Abby that I can do it. Our next entry is entry number 27, Chloe performing to About Mother. really proud of herself because I think it would be so hard to hear just negative things all the time and go out there and rise to the occasion and dance her heart out. So I give her a lot of credit for this dance today because I think she looks amazing. There's always pressure on Maddie. I mean, there's pressure on all the kids, but you know, she wants to please Miss Abby. Ladies and gentlemen, our next entry is number 30. Maddie performing two, they'll never change. Another day, another way to get thrown out of home. But does it really matter what we said 
Maddie was beautiful on stage, and it was flawless. All right, our next entry is number 44. Move you two. It's wrong. All of a sudden, I hear the competition announce that the duet is up next. And there were supposed to be 14 numbers between Asia and Nia's duet and Maddie's solo. Asia and Nia never had a chance to rehearse a duet. We have to go back for a duet. Come on. You guys. They didn't even run the duet. I think they ran it backstage. No, they did not. In this duet, Nia has this extremely difficult lift with Asia where she picks her up over her head. She hasn't even had a chance to practice it. They haven't even stretched. They are totally unprepared. The competition skipped ahead to the duet, and the girls are totally unprepared. They are totally caught off guard, and there's an extremely difficult lift in the middle of the dance. We have to go back for a duet. We didn't even warm up or anything. We didn't practice at all. And that's not fair to Asia and I. Our next entry is number 44. Move you two. looking pretty good. Was it their best? No, but Mia was able to lift Asia with no difficulty, so I'm pretty happy with that. What I'm not happy with is with Abby. She was reckless and she totally was unprepared with rehearsing those girls before they went on stage. Holly and Christy are really upset right now because Abby was so busy having them do their drag queen walks that she forgot to have them run the dance. I think they did a nice job. I think they could have been better prepared. They weren't stretched. They weren't stretched. They weren't stretched. I can tell they weren't stretched. Being yeah. in a costume does not mean that you're ready to perform. I agree. Yeah. There was time for the girls to rehearse, and she didn't use that time. Hey, 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 hey! What? It's quiet in here. Who told the girls to go on if there were like 14 numbers? What? And they did never practice in their costume like everybody else. They didn't even run anything. They didn't even stretch. Most importantly, they weren't warmed up. Regardless, the ability to adapt quickly to change, that's, they need to be on that. Because when your kid goes to an audition, they could be number 185 and 183 and 184 dropped out. And your kid's saying, well, wait a minute. I have six more minutes before I step out there to do my audition. No, you don't. When you're in an audition, you just need to be ready. And that's a fact. I was worried about the lift. That the lift right. was great. They practiced the lift backstage. What else did they do that required all this warm up? A round up back handspring. Well, a back handspring, since you know everything, Dr. Holly, is done with a straight back. But it's not funny or cute to throw a kid on stage and them not be warmed up. 
Once again, Abby deflects the blame and turns this all into a lesson about being prepared. Regardless, this lesson could have been disastrous. Abby's lucky that the duet performed as well as they did. One more time, this is it. Caution, intensity. The group dance is up next. Abby's bold experiment of taking Maddie out of the group number and using her as an assistant is about to play out in front of all of us. I just hope that this experiment doesn't blow up in front of all of our faces. Maddie is going to go backstage with you. Listen to her. All right, game face is on. Let's go. Maddie, if they don't do well, I'm going to need a new assistant. <laughs> It's gonna be a challenge for the girls to dance without Maddie. This is a lesson. This is to say, girls, you need to be together. You need to be on your A game, and you're not. Guys, we're all going out on this uh, line right here, not the second, not the and we line. end on and the third line. We end on How are we walking on? Guys, it's fair. You have to stay exactly on the line. I think Abby puts all of her eggs in one basket, and she depends on Maddie. And I think that this is their time to go out and show Abby that we can do this without Maddie. We don't need her. All righty, our last entry of the day is entry number 57, Here No Evil. I've accomplished my goal. The girls learned to survive without Maddie. <laughs> All right, our energy junior solo division in third place, Titanium. There is one point separating first and second. In second place, Chloe performing to About Mother. And our top overall energy junior solo is Maddie, Maybe No Pain. Now, Chloe is second, only by one point. Maddie, Melissa, you better wake up. Chloe has learned her lesson, and she is hot on your trail. We have our top overall energy petite duet trio in third place on Broadway. And second place, follow the leader. And our top overall energy petite duet trio, Move You Too. I'm so proud of Mia. The duet came in first place, and they didn't want to dance once. They adapted to the situation, and they persevered. And I hope this shows Abby that Mia can tackle any situation that comes her way. Our power petite small group. Top award goes to entry number 33, Runaway Baby. Our Energy Junior small group top overall winner goes to Hear No Evil. I'm thrilled. The girls learned not to rely on Maddie. Now, if they could learn not to rely on their mothers and think for themselves, I might have a whole new team on my hands. Congratulations! Congratulations! Congratulations. To everybody, everybody did well. I think you got lucky. I think it's hysterical that the group dance got first place. I just would like to rub it into Abby's nose that, like, 
See, our girls can dance without Melissa's kids in it and still do well. In the clothes that you have on right now, I'd like you to run the last text. Since we're doing it next week, I want to see if I want to make any changes. We are going to New York City next week, and we're going to be on The View doing the last text. So I need these kids to run that number at every opportunity. I need to look at this routine, and I need to look at it now. Sickle feet. You do that, I will literally grab that hand and drag you off the stage. Is, is it clear that she's going to be on The View, or should I? You never know. Asia's been running the dance. She's been rehearsing. She knows the part. So at this point, I think Asia should be on The View. Does that mean Asia's doing the last text? Mackenzie's definitely bummed. She wants to dance. She wants to dance in the worst way. We'll see. Next on Dance Bombs, here we are, New York City. Thank you, Carl, for letting me on the team. Oh! What do I have to do to get Mackenzie to dance again? I really think that she needs to go on The View. We are holding an open audition for a contemporary dancer. I danced with Mariah Carey. Wow. Who's going to be in the dance? I'm not sure yet. I have to fight for my daughter. Let it die. This is my decision. 